Hey everybody, Mike Martins here. Thanks for joining me and being part of the situation, so to say. All right, guys, I'm going to ask a big favor. And I need to ask this because it's very important. And I need you guys to get the message out there. Um, before you judge me or, you know, deem me as a lunatic or a psycho or whatnot, I really need you need for you guys to hear me out, please. I'm asking that people start to document pen to paper, paper to pen, what is happening, okay? I need you to start documenting everything that's happening around you and that that's happened in the last 20 years, okay? The reason why I'm asking of this is because in around... Don't laugh at me. 20, the year 2107, there's going to be a group that's going to come together that's going to want to reconstruct history as it was. They're not going to be able to do it with all the digital misinformation we have out there today. And I've been talking about the digital book burning that we were going through eight years ago. I made a video about it. And I went in depth explaining to people that in a hundred years from now, History will be written that Saddam Hussein did have weapons of mass destruction and the Americans and the great freedom fighters of the world went there to disarm them and save the planet. None of us will be alive to tell people that that's a lie because none of us will be there to stand up for it. So what I'm asking is for people to start writing and preserving documents, pen to paper, typewriter is good, no digital Digital's useless. Even putting on an SD card, backup, blah, blah, blah. There may be a solar flare. There may be something that wipes out digital. But preserving documents in, in books and writing and, and keeping them in a safe place. This non-for-profit group is going to try and usher um, a new beginning uh, in the next century purposely. Purposely. Uh, to try and explain the past with whatever scraps of evidence that we have, okay? Now, we've seen this already happening right now with uh, just digital disappearance. Like when we've brought this up when the Portuguese were being mass deported from Toronto, 47,000 families in one year in 2007. There was tons of news articles about it. Tons. The CTV, the CBC, the Toronto Star, the Hamilton Post. Uh, 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 they were just documenting this. They had rallies at Queen's Park and at City Hall Toronto to stop the deportation of Portuguese laborers who came to Canada with promises of full citizenship if they came to work the labor market. So that's it's all disappearing. So what I'm asking, and I'm going to say it again, Pen to paper, paper to pen. Start documenting what you remember. Start documenting what you're seeing with a date and a time. Collections will be made long, long after we're gone. And they're going to be scrapped together. And because they're going to have to rewrite history as it was through our eyes, through our experiences. Because the government now dictates history and it's going to dictate it going forward and to discuss what really happened and how it happened uh, through lies. And the only way to save that is by preserving it through creating our own compendiums. Because a Preserve the History non-profit foundation uh, in 2107, in the summer of, uh, summer of 2107, will come forward and bring the past to light so we don't repeat it. So if there's any diaries, even past diaries of, you know, people that fought in wars, manuscripts, memoirs, please preserve it because they will come for it. And like I said, I urge you guys uh, to watch that uh, Fahrenheit 481 or 4, 418 or 481. It's a, it's a movie we've been discussing. They will come to get rid of the paper because paper to pen is very hard to forge and manipulate or manipulate after it's been signed and sealed. 
get your compendiums, write your stories. That's all I'm asking for. Let future family members say, hey, you don't have to read this. It's fine. Just preserve it because people in ahead are going to want answers. And it's time we preserve that and we rewrite the history as we see and have done. Anyways, you could deem me as whatever you want. You could say whatever you want about me. But that's all I'm asking. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.